Uh, here's a very important fundamental voice, uh, in fact voices. Throughout this week we are going to be bringing you some of the biggest voices uh, from Asia and that's in our new series or new edition of our uh, ongoing series Asian Tigers. To start off Uden Mukherjee caught up with uh, Hugh Young, the managing director of uh, Aberdeen Asset Management uh, Asia in Singapore. Hugh says that he is broadly optimistic on the Indian consumption story, a man who has put his money where his mouth is, so listen in. What does seem clear is that uh, <laughs> India's economic course is generally set fair mm. um, and uh, with a fair wind and, and good government, which is never a given, I'm afraid, in India. Uh, we could be looking at, say, economic growth 6, maybe even as high as 8 percent uh, with a fair wind. Mm. Um, so certainly the, uh, the, the animal spirits within the economy, I think, are pretty much unleashed. And there's still a lot of reform uh, to come through. You've then got to see that whether that translates to earnings per share, which ultimately uh, will, will drive the market. But I think there's a lot to go for in India. And we've been overweight India for 20 or more years. Uh, in, a, in our portfolios, and we, and we still are uh, to this day. So we, we find in India certainly the broad picture of, of very long-term growth, and we are very long-term sure. people. We, we've sat with uh, many of our investments for 10, 20 years even, um, and we've had some bad years within that period, of course, mm. uh, but we're looking really beyond it. Uh, uh, at the far longer term and, uh, and it's with some assurance one can, can look at India and say this is the place to be. Mm. But as long term in investors you would be bullish on Indian consumption as a story. Yes. Did you tweak any of your consumption related mm. holdings because of what happened with demonetization? I did see that you probably took out an, a two-wheeler stock or maybe mm. uh, pruned holdings in some consumer stocks. Do you think it has affected the near term trajectory? Uh, Th that, th yes, we, we tweak all the time, uh, largely uh, in reflection of uh, our own flows. Mm. So rather than us saying we now like or dislike India or a particular stock, it's, it's often a reflection of oh, a client's given us money or a client's taken, uh, taken money away from us. Yes. So, so, so on demonetization itself, uh, that, that didn't cause us to suddenly say, oh my goodness, we must get out of Hero, for example. Or, or anything like that. It certainly wasn't a reflection of uh, demonetization because we see that as a, a very short-term blip, and, and, and it certainly was a, in some cases, a very, a very major blip. Like two wheelers, um, it still continues to lag. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So you're looking at maybe a couple of quarters yeah. uh, where it's affecting, but, but really, we're not, we're not managing the portfolio for a two couple quarters. of quarters. So. Um, so that hasn't affected our, our, our broad stance at all and we're still optimistic broadly over consumption. Okay, that's the very interesting and energetic Hugh Young. You can catch more snippets from this exclusive conversation through the day on C